guys well do you remember it's the aloha but not really because this year is the convertible so it's an impeller stands on the side i'm so lucky so here is the seat impeller. Oh, really beautiful guys absolutely beautiful So long, guys. That's what she said. <laughs> That's a cool Silverado 20. Very nice design. Almost like the uh, GMC Sierra from uh, Far Guys. From called Sievers. <laughs> but well, he didn't drive the Chevy. He, he drove a GMC. But I've heard that once someone was seeing that he was once jumping around with a. Chevy instead of the GMC. Well, so saving costs then if you are driving a <laughs> Chevy instead. And here, guys, is the rear end. It's yeah, actually the same like as for the GMC Sierra, except that here standing, of course, Chevy or Chevrolet to be more precise. So, guys. Beautiful, huh? And here's another beauty Buick, guys. This is a Buick. Wow, absolutely wow, guys. So, this guy is, is from 1956. It's a Buick Century. Also, really interesting about this uh, airplane here. Absolutely wonderful, guys. And see all these air vents. Oh, these. Oh, this is, this is also so beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Such beautiful de details. Century. Wow. From 1956. Oh my god, it's so amazing. So, it's an R107. We've already seen a few of them. The classics and coffee, of course. So, well, now going to the next one. Here, guys. Another Polo 86C, if I'm not mistaken. At least I can remember that I was driving once one like this, uh, but in a Bordeaux red. It was my second car. Just after my Audi 80 back then. In the 90s. <laughs> I can also remember these ones here with this color. So it's also a very common color for me. You also don't get to see these so much. So, because these are not so much in the focus of the people. I'm actually curious if this was a typical color of this car back in the old days. Because to me it's looking a little bit too fancy. Anyway, it's a lovely um, big uh, tail fin. It's a 220, if I'm remembering right. Tail fins are so great looking cars. Oh no, my battery is going to the end. So, guys, um, in case this is the last one, I'm saying thank you guys for watching. And yeah, see you next time. <laughs> oh, now we have again one more in the of the battery. I'm remembering this uh, dune buggy. I've seen this one yesterday in Oslo time. Well, plenty of days ago when you're watching this video because <laughs> there's also so much coming from. Oh, look at this guys, Unimog. Oh, it's again red indicating so the battery is soon uh, empty, soon flat. So
sorry guys. That guy's here, Taman GF. Also really cool. Blue Chevy Corvette. Here's a brown Maserati B Turbo guys. Maybe it's the same one as yesterday in Ostersheim. A red beetle. BW1303. There's another one. And well guys, I have to hurry a little bit. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Is the E9? I'm thinking it's the E9. Oh, CSI. CSI Miami, guys. That's something else that's very big. Just running around. So, this guy here is in Buick Master 6, 25, and so on. That's a really loud car, guys. Absolutely amazing. Wasn't this one at the Classics and Coffee before? So, but now here's everything crowded because they are at the finals and telling... Uh, they are telling um, who has won anything here. Pagodi, but I'm not able to film this one. Sorry guys. But here, take a look at this wonderful... R107 Ferrari Oh, das ist das nicht Modell Just too much to walk one step away Even if you're noticing someone is filming there, then no, no, I'm staying there still Oh. <laughs> I have to calm down again. So guys, this is a wonderful 328 GTS. And here you can see, well, there's so much space for the guy. But yeah, standing still. So, absolutely loving this uh, Mazda 323F. This is my favorite 323 to be more precise. So that's why I'm here to film it again. Mazda Now we're going to the end, so this is a Ferrari 328 and now I'm thinking the battery